I want to bring up the one topic that I'm super interested in. It's not Tesla. I know, I know what you're talking about, though. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Have you guys ever heard about the Apple Vision Pro? Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I, I want to, I want to hear the opinions about that. Yuck. <laughs> but who says yuck? Who said that? Okay, All right. so, okay, so here the thing is. Okay, okay. okay. It's like the iPhone. The first iPhone was shitty, but then the iPhones kind of improved. But it was a revolutionary. Yes, that's yeah. what that's what the thing is. Yeah. The first Apple Vision Pro is shitty AF. But okay. let's wait for the new one. Why is that? Huh? Why, why is it bad? Yeah. It's not, Bro, it's you're, not literally, that you're literally carrying a goddamn battery with you in your pocket. True. Of course, yeah. you gotta and carry it in a and pocket. And it's like this. It's yeah. like completely covered. It's like your a face ski off. goggle. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, and I don't want to wear a goddamn ski goggle uh, in New York. You, you mind if I pop in a bit? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, sorry. Oh. The thing is, it's not the product, which is a problem. It's the way that they're heading. AR, though, I feel like the world is not ready for AR yet, if that makes any sense. Oh, why do you think that? Because it's just not, bro. Like, simply, you look, go into a New York subway system, and yeah. if you see a random guy wearing that, like, yeah. how do you feel? I feel like it's, it's like a Cybertruck, you know? It's a new thing. <laughs> Everything's a Cybertruck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new thing to the society, you know? Yeah. Fair, but we, po- I feel like Apple just, like, went too quick, if mm. that makes any sense. Don't Agreed. you think that's... You know, it has to be, you know, there has to be a big leap when you want to go further as a long term. Don't yeah. you think that's fair? Fair. Yeah. You have a point. See, now I don't know much about it, right? Is it is it just like uh, what what is it like a it's like a, a, it's a, a it's like a VR? Is yeah. it VR? I know yeah. it's, 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 VR, VR. it's VR, but AR is basically you can see through it and you can yeah. interact with the real. World. Oh, I, I would okay. say it's not a VR; it's an AR, an augmented reality. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is AR. So is when AR. I wear this, like I have a laptop right now. Uh-huh. I can just I pull the laptop oh. screen over here and make it larger. I, don't you think that's, that's like revolutionary? Dude, that's sick. That is sick. Yeah. I think that that's pretty sick. sick. Like, wouldn't you guys want to do that? I've seen, actually, no, I have seen videos on TikTok where yeah. people, uh, pilots actually, yeah. student pilots, they would have that thing on their, in, they would have it in front of them. Pilots. Pilots would, yeah. Jeez. No, not where they're flying, no. Oh, okay. But I'm saying like, to, oh, for, to like study and for stuff? For flight, to study. So oh, they would, pre-flight pre-flight they would well, right? yeah, 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 they would practice pre-flight yeah. using uh, like a diagram or like, okay. a, like a 3D print of the plane. So they can like enlarge the... They can uh, enlarge it and yeah. it's like they're actually there and yeah. they can walk around actually pre-flight and like learn how to do all that stuff. Dude, I wow. feel like Riddle should do that and stuff like having Honestly, like VR sets. I don't know, maybe like... 3,500% and yeah, I mean, I feel like... Yeah. We got the money. We got the money, We got the money. Kevin, I mean, what were we gonna say? I mean, I can see it's uh, I can see it as like a, a good thing for maybe situation awareness, like mm. especially yeah. flying in Florida with all the airspaces. I guess it could help, but I feel like introducing that way too early into the uh, you know person. Yeah, like let's, career, let's wait the technology it, to it, evolve. You know, they, they, they might they might get too complacent. I need to. What's your opinion about that? I know you're an engineer. So my view on the Vision Pro is it's the it's like what Netscape was to Google. So mm. Google was not the first search, search engine in the world. Okay, Netscape what was it? came out first. Okay, but Google just did it better. Mm. That's why it became that famous, and their marketing was better. Mm. So I feel once uh, Neuralink, in fact, once they're able to make enough progress with their technology, the and they're able to reduce the size of this device. The some Neuralink, s- yeah, some somewhat that it's compatible yeah. uh-huh. in such a sense that our consciousness, or at least our neural activity, is directly linked with the Vision Pro. Yeah. Uh, another company is obviously going to make make this better, okay. and they're going to do much uh, better in marketing this device in a way that everyone can use it, and it's not a threat as much as it mm. is an advantage. Of course, you can't say it's going to be good for everyone. It's right. going to be bad for people too. Uh-huh. But that's with all technology, you know. It's that's, like a that's the same with internet too. It's like a nuclear yeah. bomb. Kind of. Russian um, builds it. US yeah. builds it. Yeah. It gets better and better and better. I just feel like, you know, Netscape you came up yeah. with an amazing idea saying, okay, what if everyone could just search whatever they want on a computer screen? Yeah. Google just said, what if we can do it better? Mm. That's it. So Apple made the whole Vision Pro as a new technology. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, it's not new. AR and VR has, mm. um, has been around for a while. More widespread, let's say that. Yeah, yeah. but someone is going to come around better and do it much better and then probably okay. everyone can use it and not. it's not going to be something that you have to carry around and, you know, it's not going to be as bulky. Yeah, when you see the Apple Vision Pro, would you buy it if you had the money? Three, if I had 5K. the money for, for certain reasons, yeah, I would definitely buy it because okay. it helps in in all professional capacities i guess yeah it it would it would help our engineers a lot because uh-huh. they they can really do a lot with visualization and i know a lot of us are engineers yeah uh, Tane is an engineer. What do you think? Has anyone of you seen Ready Player One? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So 
I think it's co- it's if the Vision Pro is like successful, we are gonna head towards that direction, which I'm scared of, honestly. That's kind of scary. I think it's successful already. No, like it's expensive right now, and right. Gen- it is not for general purpose. Right. So like if everyone's using it, so I guess it would make humans less interactive with it with each other and stuff like that, which mm-hmm. would be really scary. Yeah, but bro, they can see through. Yeah, you can see through, but honestly, a point would come where people would start uh, to live in the virtual reality more than the actual reality. Mm. True, true. It will basically be an escape from reality, but soon that reality would d- change. Yeah. 